any form of creativity is a form of art. It unlocks their potential and also gives them a sense of pride on the wonderful work that they can create. It's about finding that thing that you like, that means something to you. It gives you time away from your problems. To be able for me to come and sing here today has given me the boost I need. It's really, really made a massive impact on my life. It's given me something to live for. Within us there lies inherent creative potential, whether it be through dance, whether it be through drawing, painting, whether it be through singing, whether it be through sport. We all have creativity within us. And Creative Minds is about releasing that creative potential to support people's recovery. Equine therapy is one of the services that we have available within Wakefield Older People Services. It's a project that we developed through Creative Minds in partnership with the Wakefield Riding for the Disabled Association. People come along for a couple of hours and the session can be anything from grooming activities through to actually riding. Oh, it's lovely just being with animals. Well, it, it helps you to socialise which I don't do at all. It just takes the anxiety away. Well, we've known for years the benefits of people working around horses. Horses are wonderful animals, they're non-judgmental. We just see over the two-hour period that they're here that the confidence improves. There's a partnership between staff and service users because it's about responding to what people have asked for, as is the whole Creative Minds strategy which was born of what service users and carers had requested, i.e. more creative groups and approaches to services. By coming to equine therapy and interacting with the horses, it helped me to interact with people, so now I've got a lot of my confidence back. It's given me something to live for. Creative Minds is about helping people uh, come to terms with, with their illnesses, with their stresses and strains, and with their emotions. To give you an example, you know, if a relationship has broken down, the person is probably uneasy about forming new ones. But equine therapy, it doesn't require any kind of talk, but just the, the physical action of stroking a horse or kind of, you know, relaxing in water makes a difference. Hydrotherapy is a water-based therapy. We offer it as part of our physiotherapy service. We also use it as part of relaxation sessions. It allows for a bit of group interaction and perhaps a bit more of a levelling between staff and service users because everybody's in the same environment, in the same pool. There isn't quite those boundaries. The group of service users that come with us are currently inpatients, uh, sort of field heads, so it's mental health, acutely unwell patients. I think this is a great place to come. It helps immensely. You come down and you can work muscles without having to worry whether you're going to pull something, strain something. I'm an active person anyway. We've been in hospital, this is a great escape to relax and use the muscles. The Caring Garden is a place for service users, carers, staff, a lot of public come and see what has been transformed in the last 12 to 18 months. Creative minds have been absolutely brilliant. We would not have been able to do what we've done it's an enormous benefit to everybody, staff and service users. It's so therapeutic, they're out, they all help one another. I love that. The idea of a labyrinth here at Field Head came about because for several years now we've had a portable labyrinth and the feedback was so positive about this that when it was obvious there was a corner of the site which was largely unused. It seemed a wonderful opportunity to create something which would be a, a much more sort of permanent feature available all hours to people staying in hospital, to staff, to visitors. To do this for 10 or 15 minutes really has had a positive impact on their state of mind. When you get to the centre, there is a real sense of inner peace. What Creative Minds does is to create the partnerships within our local community that enhance our service offer going forward. So if the mission of our organisation is to enable people to realise their potential and to live well in their communities, Creative Minds supports just that. Inspire Art Group is really aimed at anybody who's suffered from mental health problems through their life and 
sometimes physical problems as well. We're just a support group for people who enjoy art, enjoy creativity. We did uh, a wire work project, the Wired for Wellbeing with Faceless. And we made all these little dancing men and trees. We've got a big tree out in the um, garden by the allotments. Some of our pieces were taken down to um, the Hepworth Gallery which everybody loved, you know, it's quite a big thing saying you, you've got a sculpture in the Hepworth Gallery. Everybody can produce beautiful and wonderful work just given the right atmosphere, the right materials and the right time and space to do it. It unlocks their potential and also gives them a sense of pride on the wonderful work that they can create. I was worried that my depression was going to go down again. It's really, really made a massive impact on my life. I'm now able to work part time. It's really brought me out of myself and giving me confidence being up here and being with other people that understand. I realise I'm not the only person in the world that feels like this. Art can make a difference to individuals and to groups. Seeing them develop, seeing them grow and seeing the quality of the work is just uplifting. I have always felt in my work, particularly in people with depression, that the medication tends to treat the symptoms but what might have actually caused the depression the, the actual hurt, the, the bereavement, the, the breakups in relationships. These are probably dealt better with creative therapies, music for instance. The Harmony Choir is a partnership project between the Trust and Hope Music. It's for everybody, it's for staff, for service users, for carers, um, in and around the site. And it's quite different in that it's for people from any service. So there are people that come along who work in older people services or who are a part of learning disability services or Newton Lodge or wherever. So it's very much about people coming together and mixing and breaking down barriers. Coming to the choir makes such a difference for different people for very different reasons. We heard about it when Cora was on ward and we thought oh we'll go along to that something we can go together and we were singing in the car on the way back. It's a feel good, happy group. A nice relaxed atmosphere to be in. I feel um, quite energised. It's letting you do the things that you want to do and get involved. There is something about singing that makes you feel very, very positive. I have not sung for years and years. My children have been asking me to find a hobby again. I've been backing off, but actually singing is so good for the soul. To be able for me to come and sing here today has given me the boost I need.